When darkness descends on my tiles, my lanterns awaken. It is their light that protects us in this shadowy corner full of old rosaries. My name is Sagrario. Knotting rosaries is my penance. And I cannot serve a more virtuous cause than thine own, penitent one. If you give me the knots, I shall increase the mysteries of your rosary so that they might fill thee with consolation. Do you have rosary knots, penitent one? Now, let my hands knot a new mystery on your rosary. Your rosary now treasures yet another mystery. Do you have rosary knots, penitent one? Now. Let my hands knot a new mystery on your rosary. Your rosary now... May those who seek seclusion enter. <laughs> Miracle, thee who possess the keys to open all things, and the hands to lock them, welcome thine servant. Penitent one, Thee who comest in search of the morning behind our black veils. Find my daughters, and snuff out the light of the candles that accompany them. Only then will you be able to enter into their morning. For your thirst, I am water. For your cold, fire. Oh, make way for he who does not yet know me, who has not yet kissed me. Parishioner, you come seeking mine own sweet blessing. Kneel down and place your lips on my holy sanctity. Oh, I see. You are here for another purpose. Oh, but I will not judge thee. How could I? My will is only to bestow my grace upon thee, to ease thy burden. Go forth. My blessing awaits you. Prostrate yourself before me. Penitent one, do you not wish to worship the divinity? Do you not seek out my favor? Oh, I see. This is naught but an act of humility, but of sacrifice. Blessed are the humble, for they shall receive in their arms the highest of all blessings. I am moved by your act of humility. If you venerate me, you shall receive more favors 
than any other parishioner. Go ahead, bow down before me. You witness, my parishioners, how one among you rejects my blessing. It would seem my holiness is not pure and holy enough, not elevated enough for him. But let us forgive him, O oh, mine own parishioners. Let us forgive his ignorant lack of faith. Let us pray for him, so he might repent of his grave sin. In this way, when your body is imbued with heaviness, it will prostrate itself before me. I understand. I accept that you do not wish to worship me. However, as a true divine being, I shall serve you nonetheless. With my assistance, your further is already growing, as I so promised thee. Grant me more kisses, and we shall proceed with the sacrament. Bestow upon me...
this is no place for anyone. Can you not see that death breathes the very air that dries our throats? That it walks in our footsteps? You cannot even hear the cries for the dead. For here, even crying is forbidden. I will remain in the shadows, sheltering behind these bars, so you cannot look upon my diseased countenance. But although no one has ever managed to find out who he really is, I can reveal to you a name. Castor. How ominous that name sounds when spoken in these shadowy enclaves. I may have something for you. If so, be sure to take it and go. You want nothing.
to your reverence, I address myself. After seeing myself freed from grief following long years of regret, I dreamt I saw some bees create a honeycomb of sweet honey inside the now empty recesses of my soul. But the miracle does not distinguish between dreams and truth, and my dreamt punishment became incarnate. O oh, creatures of the miracle, what do you want from me? Your reverence's visit to this repentant, punished sinner shall not be in vain. Take this as a gift. If perchance this gift I give you should break, losing its worth, return it to me. This honey, which doth not cease to flow, will be able to undo the damage. Let the bees continue in their sorrowful work. Come back here. Thank <laughs> you. 